Hello everyone, this is Shin Godzilla 2007, and today I'm going to be talking about some news that has been going around for a little while. I'm sure you probably, you all probably know what it is already, but it's that Toho may be planning to make more Godzilla anime movies. And <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about where this news came from or anything today, I'm just going to talk about basically why this may not be such a very good idea. So let's get started with it. So first of all, let's just say the the obvious reason why it's probably not a good idea is just that, I mean, the other three did not really do that well here or in Japan. I mean, <clears throat> But all three of the, I mean, the first one, I think the first one did pretty well. I mean, I liked the first one. It, it was pretty good. It wasn't as good as it could have been. I mean, it was a movie called Godzilla Monster Planet, or Godzilla Planet of the Monsters, and it didn't really have any other monsters in it besides for Godzilla. And, um, City on the Edge of Battle... I don't know what all you think about it, but I didn't like it. And you you probably already know what I think about the Planet Eater. I mean, the only the only thing that I really thought was good about that movie was the I mean the the, the Ghidorah was okay, but um <clears throat> I mean, it's probably one of the most powerful Ghidorahs we've seen, if not the most powerful Ghidorah. Because literally anything goes through him until the one controlling him is killed. And then he's just like on his own free will and then he can basically just be destroyed by Godzilla. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, most of these movies didn't do very well in either country. So I'm just wondering why would they think that it's a good idea to make more? And I think that I may have the answer to that. Now, I'm not sure that this is the answer to it, but this is what I think could possibly be the answer. <clears throat> so, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have all probably seen Shin Godzilla. And you also all probably know that it's my second favorite Godzilla movie after Godzilla King of the Monsters. And this movie had, uh, Shin Godzilla had a lot of what's considered to be bad CGI in it. And some of the CGI wasn't really that good, but I still like the movie anyway, probably because of that, probably because of how cool Godzilla was in that movie, how he can evolve and stuff. But, <clears throat> yeah. So... The that was actually um I've heard that that CGI was probably pretty good for Japan because the CGI in Japan is not as advanced as it is in America. So so what I'm thinking and by the way, I'm pretty sure Toho Studios is actually the biggest film studio in Japan. So I think what they're gonna do is they because. Another thing that Toho said is that they are happy with the way the Godzilla movies are going in the U.S. So, I think they may let Legendary and Warner Brothers keep making MonsterVerse movies after 2020. And while that's happening, Toho may be making Godzilla animated movies. And, now, I don't know this is... for for sure that that's what they're doing. I don't know that for sure. They may just be making like an animated TV series or something. But <clears throat> I I'm just going to say um well, I think the reason that they may be doing that is because the CGI in Japan is not as advanced and they may be waiting to get better CGI to make better looking live action Godzilla movies and in the meantime they're making the animated movies because they can make those without having to use suits and without having to use much CGI and stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah, um, 
I didn't really care about the bad CGI in Shin Godzilla. I liked it anyway. And that's because I knew that it was probably, like, the best they could do with it. Especially because they spent a lot of that budget on that animatronic that they didn't use. And, <clears throat> yeah, but I knew that was the best that they could do with it. So, I just accepted that that was how it was going to be. And I didn't really see it as bad CGI anymore. I liked it anyway. And some of it actually looked pretty good to me like the atomic breath scene that that CGI was pretty good but you know where the Godzilla anime movies on Netflix I mean I know they came out in theaters in Japan but the anime trilogy I'm pretty sure they were actually part CGI it's just that they can do that CGI better than they can with like the live action CGI because it doesn't have to look like realistic or anything but anyway, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this G-Talks. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm still not sure that it's a good that it's a very good idea to make the animated movies right now. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.